Deni la kitaifa linapoendelea kuongezeka. The National Treasury and the Economic and Economic Planning issued an expression of interest to bring on board a lead manager to advise the government on liability management options towards the resolution, the resolution of the Eurobond 2024. Waziri wa fedha Jogona Ndongo amependekeza kubadilisha kiwango hicho kutoka trilioni kumi hadi kiwango ambacho kinauiana na pato la kitaifa. Limit of the debt as approved in the 2020 in, in 2020 by by this house is Kenya shillings 10 trillion. Guided by the best practice, the government intends to change the public debt ceiling from a, a numerical number to a debt anchor in form of a ratio of public debt to GDP in present value terms. The proposed change to the debt, uh, to the debt ceiling provides an appropriate guide for optimal level of public debt based on the country's ability to pay. Katika budget hii serikali napania kukopa zaidi ya bilioni imia saba ili kukidhi mahitaji ya bajeti hii ya trilioni 3.6 serikali pia inapania kulipa madeni yote wakati unapowadia hasa deni la dola bilioni mbili la euro bond let me turn to public debt management mr speaker kenya's public debt remains sustainable but with elevated risks of debt distress due to persistent global shocks that adversely affect the liquidity liquidity ratios the depreciation of the kenya shilling against major currencies and the rise of interest rates have elevated cost of debt service further the depreciation of car of the currency has increased the size of the public debt stock as half of the public debt is actually denominated in foreign currency although the debt burden has risen kenya has not accumulated debt service areas and the government is committed to honor all public debt obligations as they fall due wakati huo huo waziri ndongo amesema kushuka kwa thamani ya shilingi ya Kenya ikilinganishwa na dola kumesababisha kuongezeka kwa kiwango cha riba serikali pia inapania kupunguza utumizi mwingi wa fedha katika mwaka huu wa bajeti kama njia moja ipo kupunguza madeni And to implement the policy priorities within a sustainable fiscal framework. Overall, we have moderated our spending to ensure that to ensure the value for money and enhanced the revenue mobilization efforts to ensure that our public debt remains on a sustainable path. Prioritization is critical because resource, resources are scarce, thus limiting our capacity and desire to cover everything at once.